Hey guys and girls and welcome to another Acorn Vision trailer analysis with me, Alan. Uh, not actually a trailer that we'll be analysing today, it's uh, a gameplay demo that was shown at the PlayStation Experience towards the end of last year. Uh, an extended gameplay, I believe taken directly from the storyline, so heed the warning. If you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, then I suggest you do not continue watching or listening. Well. Maybe listen, but not watch. Ah, then I'll leave it up to you. This gameplay is a lot longer than the teaser that we analysed last week, so lots to talk about. Let's get started. Not suitable for children. Good. <laughs> Only on PlayStation. Yeah, we know. Again with the music, I mentioned uh, in the teaser last week that it was pretty pretty somber, uh, and this one's very atmospheric. It's quite an interesting looking mountain there in the background. And our first look at Drake in game. Where the hell are you? Two things to note: graphics. Probably downgraded. I mean, I don't know if this is gameplay or cutscene, but I'm assuming that opening bit was a cutscene, and the graphics seem a lot less than what they were in the in the teaser trailer. Um, but that's to be expected. It seems to be a sort of a trend these days with uh, early release trailers and then gameplay, actual gameplay. Um, and the second thing to note is that Drake said, "Where the hell are you?" So he's on this i well on this. On an island or wherever he is, with someone, and they've been separated. <laughs> Drake showing us a bit of the old scenery there. I'm assuming just for our benefit. Just gonna pause it there. Um, these ridges platforms in the background I'm assuming that's how he got to where he is on onto here because there's no there's no visible reason for him being just on here in the first place so I think that's that's how he got over and, and that's what they're showing us I mean the graphics still look good to me I mean obviously it's been downgraded but I think it still looks really good. Notice there's like a little there's a ledge up there to the right and then there's a tunnel down to the left. And you see Drake has chosen to go through the tunnel. Whoa. Huh. But if we pause it here, I believe that is the ledge that I was just talking about. So there's a bit more flexibility in how Drake can traverse the terrain now. I mean, I assume all roads lead the same way, but he had the choice there to go through the tunnel or go, you know, up via the ledge. And um, I don't know if it's a new mechanic or not, but the torch, was that was that a manual activation or was that an automatic thing because he's just entered a darker area? <laughs> So, something has caught Drake's eye from quite far away, I would have thought. Um, I mean, that notification came up a decent distance, and then he had the option to go forward and investigate. I don't think we've seen that before in the uh, Uncharted franchise. But the thing that I noticed here, and I assume you saw as well, was the skull and crossbones. And at first, I didn't think anything of it, but I mean, this body has obviously been there a long time. 
and it looks to me that that skull and crossbones is drawn in blood so if that's the case if it is drawn in blood then I can't see that being very old because it the moisture from the waterfall has made the rest of the cave damp but why is this blood not being washed away so I mean it's running we can see it's running but it hasn't been washed away so it can't have been here that long is my assumption so the question is who drew skull and crossbones I'm assuming maybe the person who killed that guy but it's a long time he's been dead and we get a look at one of the new mechanics the sliding jump I'm gonna say it a little bit like Tomb Raider <laughs> He likes taking the scenery, doesn't he, Drake? Or, or whoever's playing as Drake. It's refreshing. Now, I'm wondering, did he automatically crouch when he entered this low space? Or was it a, a manual thing done by the player? I know it just stands up again, so could be automatic, I suppose. There hasn't been a crouch feature in, in Chai before, so and again, he spots it from a distance, and he can get closer and investigate. big, stupid ideas about pirate treasure. He says two interesting things there. He asked the skeleton if he'd seen anyone tall and lanky. And then he said, he mentioned that that person had stupid ideas about pirate treasure. So pirate treasure, I'm assuming, is our plot line for this game. And tall and lanky, well, uh, I mentioned in the, tra the teaser trailer last week that I assumed... Elena would return. I don't think she fits the description of tall and lanky. Um, it could be Sully, but to me that doesn't sound very affectionate. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but he and Sully are pretty tight, so I don't know if you'd describe him as tall and lanky. So it could be someone else, or maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I don't know. Bad luck, huh? See, now you can read this if you want to, but I've chosen not to. I want to preserve my single player experience. But it's quite interesting that he's investigating bodies, but he's actually collecting things. And this is what I wanted to talk about. This, to me, I assume is where they are. Um, and I had a quick look on, on, uh, on an atlas. And this, I believe, is the coast of Chile, which is in South America. So, I mean, the jungle, the mountains on the coast, sort of fits. And he adds it to his scrapbook, which builds on previous Uncharted titles where clues to puzzles and stuff were inside his journal. So... Now he's manually adding things, and I assume we'll be able to investigate those pages in greater detail. Climbing skills on point, Trying as always. Up there. In those boots. <laughs> and the humour. Sure, you don't need this. So he's just picked himself up a new piece of equipment and he's using it to climb the rock face. This is a, a new mechanic. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Team Raider again. Almost there. I should probably mention now that I actually I really enjoyed the last Team Raider game. So if they're if Uncharted taking a few notes out of the Tomb Raider book, then that's fine by me. Notice that he's looking at the mountain again in the background. Uh, is this his objective? Is he on his way there at the moment? Yeah, yeah, Tomb Raider, we get it. <laughs> It's just a hop, skip, and a enormous leap away. So it seems that he is heading towards that mountain. It's quite um, it's quite a decent draw distance for the map. I'm curious to know how much of that space we can actually reach, or how much we actually traverse. Saw something maybe movement along the tree line. Thick jungle over there, eh? It's all moving. I don't see anything. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Great. All right, everyone. False alarm. But keep an eye out. And the gang's all here. Let's go. So, first off, this obviously is the, uh, the enemy faction that we're... I don't, know, I don't know if we're fighting them or whatever, but... Clearly they're armed and dangerous. And Drake says the gang's all here, so he's not surprised to see them. So he must know them from somewhere. And he's evading them, so maybe they've had a, a run-in in the earlier stages of the game, which is quite possible. No, I'm just going to take it back a little bit to this bit. Look, the is this an auto-crouch feature again, I'm wondering? Because he just he blends into the shrub... Not blends in, but... He, he takes cover within the shrubbery as soon as he climbs out of the, climbs over the ledge. And I'm just wondering if that's automatic or you know player controlled. Great. All right, everyone. False alarm, but keep an eye out. And the gang's all here. Let's go. And do I detect South African accents there? So he's dealing with someone from that neck of the woods, or they just hide mercs? I don't know. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the enemy has a white glow to him, and I think this might be a new mechanic in the game, where it's an early warning system sort of thing, whereby enemies that are maybe you didn't spot initially appear on your screen as a white glow, just temporarily, because it does fade, as you can see. Um, I don't know if that's necessary, to be honest. I mean... If you don't spot an enemy, that's that's down to you. <laughs> the game's just making it a little bit easier, I suppose. Or maybe it's for something else later on. Maybe there's the reason why enemies glow. Well, luck eventually runs out. There's a little bit of chatter there between the uh, enemy troops or soldiers or whatever you want to call them. And one of them says to the other that they spotted them or spotted someone. And then the other one goes, they shot some of our men. So is he talking about Drake or is he talking about the person Drake's looking for or someone else? And was it Drake or his or the other guy or girl who shot up the the mercs, the soldiers? And then one of them also mentioned something about wreck. So what wreck is this? Are we talking? Did Drake end up where he is in a in a crash, a plane crash, a boat not a boat crash, but well, 
I guess you could call it a boat crash. Um, a shipwreck. <laughs> well, that might fit the description. Um, and then the other, and then he rounds off with. They keep getting lucky, so not the first time Drake has escaped. If it, if he's talking about Drake, so this I'm assuming is further in the game. Give me that. So stealth takedowns return. He's picked up a pistol. I don't know. It looks like maybe. Well, I'm no gun expert, so I'm not even going to try and make an assessment on that. 